know if we could get started. This is three o'clock uh, budget and finance committee meeting starting an hour earlier. Get started with first resolution RS 2016-115. Pride Moore Murphy's the sponsor. Approves a grant from the State Department of Labor and Workforce Development to the Nashville Career Advancement Center to establish career and support services. Do I have a motion? Duly seconded. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Opposed? Motion passes. RS 2016-116, Pride Moore and Gilmore sponsors. Approves a grant from the State Department of Health to the Metro Board of Health to purchase a van for use as a mobile office for the Women, Infants, and Children's Services. Do I have a motion? Duly seconded. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? I'm sorry, Council Lady Weiner. Thank you, could I address this to Mr. Sharp? Mr. Sharp? You may. Mr. Chairman. So I know that we've had this WIC program in the past. Why now do they need the van? We, we have had, we have had vans already. They're little bitty, they're cute as a Bugsy or little Ford vans. This is a big van. And it's, it, you can actually do the things inside of it. Now we go to churches, schools, various partners around the city to try to get to closer to where the clients are. This the van they can actually set up the um, and issue the vouchers inside, which we can't do in the in the little vans. That answers my question. Yeah. Thank you. Boy, these mics are hot. They are. It's not me. Seeing no others in the queue, all in favor? How's it going? Opposed. Oh, yeah. Motion passes. RS twenty sixteen dash one seventeen. Pride Moore and Gilmore the sponsors. Approves a grant from the Center for Nonprofit Management to the Metro Social Services Commission to benefit the Hospital to Home Program. Have a motion? Duly seconded. Any, seeing any, no discussion, all in favor? Opposed? Motion passes. RS 2016-118, Pride Moore and Gilmore are the sponsors. Approves a grant from Boulevard Bold Incorporated to the Metro Social Services Commission to benefit the Howes Nashville program to aid the homelessness. Have a motion. And duly seconded. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Opposed? Motion passes. RS 2016-119, Pride Moore and Gilmore are the sponsors. Appropriate funds from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services to the Metro Action Commission to support a comprehensive child development program. Do I have a motion? Duly seconded. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Opposed? Motion passes. RS 2016-120 approves an amendment to a grant from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency to the Metro Board of Health to fund Metro's air quality protection program, program to achieve Establish ambient air standards. Have a motion. Duly seconded. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Opposed? Motion passes. RS 2016 121, Pride Moore and Gilmore is the sponsor. Approves an amendment to a grant from the State Department of Health to the Metro Board of Health to enhance the health and well being of women, infants, and families. It's an increase of $25,000. Do I have a motion? Duly seconded. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Opposed? Motion passes. RS 2016-122, Pride Moore and Gilmore approves an amendment to a grant from the State Department of Health to the Metro Board of Health to support the delivery of local public health services. It's an increase of $108,000. Do I have a motion? And duly second. Discussion, seeing none, all in favor? Opposed, motion passes. RS 2016-128, Pride Moore sponsor, authorize the Department of Law to compromise and settle the personal injury claim of Annie M. Barbie against Metropolitan Government in the amount of $200,000. Do I have a motion? Second, duly seconded, Councilman Pulley. 
Just have a couple of quick questions. Captain if somebody's Hager. here from the police department. Captain Hager, we'll come right up. <clears throat> Good afternoon. Hey, how are you? Good. So the police officer was responding to a burglary call. Did he have his lights and siren on? Yes, sir. And he blew through an intersection? Correct. He did, just, not, he did not pause the thread light as he should. Right. Okay. Um, were there injuries to the victim permanent or uh, you have any idea? I have to. Councilman, uh, no, I don't believe there were any permanent injuries. I think she has a permanent mark uh, in her neck area, but I don't believe she has any permanent uh, injuries. Okay, so no permanent injuries, so she's uh, fully recovered or will fully recover from her injuries. Correct. All right. Did uh, this officer violate the department policy by doing so? Yes, Your Honor. I, yes. I'll let the yeah. on. Yes, sir. He violated four. All right different department policies you don't feel like there's any need to revisit policy over this he just was negligent yes sir okay I have no further questions thank you councilman seeing no others in the queue all in favor opposed motion passes RS 2016-129 sponsored pride more authorizes the Department of Law to compromise and settle the personal injury claim of Christopher L. Foster against Metropolitan Government in the amount of $19,000. Do I have a motion? Second it. Duly second. Any discussion? Seeing none. All in favor? Opposed? Motion passes. BL 2016-123. Councilman Mendez and Gilmore. Approves, an amendment num approves amendment number eight to the Rutledge Hill Redevelopment Plan. Councilman Mendez. Thanks. I'd, I'd like to make a motion to defer this with an explanation. Okay. There's a motion for deferral. How, any any length of deferral or? Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. To the second meeting in April. Second meeting in April. All right. There's a motion for uh, to for deferral second week in April. Any, uh, do I have a motion? I mean, a second? Any discussion? Just briefly, if I may. Okay. Uh, I just want to let the committee know that um, in the last few weeks, I've had uh, extensive conversations with uh, Metro Legal and MDHA about um, this bill. And as a result of those conversations this afternoon, we filed a separate ordinance that would affect how TIF works in all redevelopment districts and also allow for the land sale proceeds from Rutledge Hill to be used for Envision Casey. Um, I think that uh, um, hopefully what we've come up with through the help of MDHA and Metro Legal will be um, uh, uh, popular and get approved. And so pending that being coming up on first reading at our next meeting, I'm just seeking to defer mine until the second meeting in April. Thank you. Thank you. Councilman John Cooper. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I just wanted to say thank you to Councilman Mendez and uh, his co-sponsor for working so hard to getting the rules of the road straight on this important matter. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Mendez. Okay, motion for two uh, meeting deferral. All in favor? Opposed? Motion passes. RS 2016-126, Pride Memorial and O'Connell sponsors. Authorize the acquisition of property for use in public in a public project for the expansion of the Martin Luther King Jr. Academic Magnet School. Do I have a motion? Duly seconded. There is discussion. Councilman Pulley. Is there somebody from the school that can speak to this issue? Mr. Uh, Mr. Hank Clay. Step right up, Mr. Clay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and Council. Uh, and Mr. Barry can comment on this as well. Obviously, uh, you guys, the previous council, approved a significant uh, financial investment in our kids by expanding and renovating MLK uh, Magnet School. And this is a property that needed to be acquired next to the school to be able to build on. We, Metro Property, has been in negotiations with a seller for a long time. 
they've been unable to reach an agreement and so we're forced to come to you for this. Can you tell me what's on this property currently that you're trying to acquire? Mr. Berry? and it's got some age on it and so we were working off an appraisal of the building and the land but the land is what commands the most value in this particular instance can you tell me what your most recent appraised value of this land is we are currently getting the, the appraisal updated so in the negotiations we'll be working off an updated appraisal the oldest well let's say the most recent appraisal we have is for three hundred three thousand dollars so the most recent appraisal is around 300. Can you tell me what the property owner wanted in his negotiations from you for this property? Property owner feels the value of his property is approximately $900,000. So he wants three times the value uh, at which this property was appraised? And That's it, correct. And he's not willing to come off that number? We're still in negotiations on this, and Council Member O'Connell's been uh, been involved deeply but uh, his his feeling was that the comparables that were used in the old appraisal are not current so we are making the effort to update the appraisal which we'll bring into the negotiations okay and all right I don't have any further questions thank you sure. councilman Glover Thank you, Mr. Chair. Let me come back to when you talked about the appraisal. It was three hundred three thousand dollars? I believe you said. That's correct. Okay. In our analysis, it had two hundred fifty-one five. So <coughs> that's the uh, tax appraised value. The two fifty-one five is the tax appraised. So the three hundred three was the last. Okay. All right. So. <laughs> Kind of walk me through the process of if we do this and, and it's condemned, then um, what dollar amount are we, are we talking about? Whatever the current um, appraisal well, would be, or would it be higher than that? What the process during a mediation is is that we will look at uh, the current appraised value. You know, we should have that appraisal in in about about two weeks, and we'll work from there. We'll go into mediation. We'll do everything we can uh, to uh, uh, not get into a condemnation or eminent domain situation. Okay. All right. Thank you, Chair. Thank you. Seeing no others in the queue, all in favor? <coughs> Opposed? Motion passes. BL 2016 127, <coughs> O'Connell Pride, Pride Morn O'Connell sponsors, authorized disposition of license of surplus property for temporary use. Pending its dis disposition, do I have a motion? Second. Duly second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. BL 2016-128, O'Connell Pride Moore sponsors, authorizes the exchange of surplus property to be used for the Public Works Department's Division Street Extension Project. Yeah. Du duly second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Opposed? Motion passes. BL 2016-129 sponsors Rosenberg and Pride Moore authorizes the Metro government to acquire permanent and temporary easements to construct the Davidson Branch Equalization Facility for property located at 6924 Charlotte Pike. Do I have a motion? Second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Opposed? Motion passes. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the budget finance docket. Yeah, good.